In order to measure intra-abdominal pressure via the bladder technique, your patient needs a conventional single lumen indwelling urinary catheter. You will also need the following items. Pressure transducer setup, including TransPAC IV monitoring kit and 500 milliliter IV bag of normal saline, a pressure bag and transducer cable, transducer holder, IV pole, and finally a 30 milliliter lure lock tip syringe. After complete setup and priming the pressure transducer system, change the name or label of the line to CVP on the monitor. Then, attach the 30 milliliter lure lock tip syringe to the distal stopcock of the transducer tubing. Your patient should lie supine if tolerated, and the bladder should be completely drained. Level and zero the air fluid interface to the iliac crest at the mid-axillary line. Next, clamp the urinary catheter just distal to the sampling port. Clean the sampling port with an alcohol swab, and then connect the transducer tubing to the sampling port. Turn the transducer tubing's distal stopcock off to the patient, and while activating the squeeze flush, pull back the syringe plunger and fill to a maximum of 25 milliliters. Turn the stopcock off to the normal saline and inject the 25 milliliters of normal saline into the bladder. Do not inject more than 25 milliliters into the bladder. Expel any air between the clamp and the urinary catheter by opening the clamp briefly and allowing the normal saline to flow back past the clamp, and then reclamp. Allow 30 to 60 seconds after installation to allow for detrusor muscle relaxation. At end expiration, mark the pressure reading on the monitor. After you've taken measurements, unclamp the urinary catheter tubing to allow drainage to continue. You may leave the transducer setup connected to the catheter if serial measurements are ordered and remember to subtract 25 milliliters from the patient's urine output. The World Society of the Abdominal Compartment Syndrome defines intra-abdominal hypertension as a sustained or repeated pathological elevation in intra-abdominal pressure greater than or equal to 12 millimeters of mercury and is graded by severity in the following table. Furthermore, abdominal compartment syndrome is defined as a sustained intra-abdominal pressure greater than 20 millimeters of mercury with or without an abdominal perfusion pressure less than 60 millimeters of mercury that is associated with new organ dysfunction or failure.